Hello, gorgeous soul. Here is your June astrology. Can you believe that six months of the year, half the year has gone, but June is fabulous. It's packed with potential opportunity and a sprinkling of fate and destiny, which normally <laughs> I'm not into, nor do I quote, but the North Node is joining forces with Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. The North Node is our destiny. It's you know, our greatest journey and it's what we're here for and it is providing us with the opportunity to grow and evolve and marvellous things are on their way. Could, in, could even involve someone from the past or an opportunity from the past rocking up. But this time we are ready to grab it. This is a stunning month from the get-go. Here's your monthly astrology. Leo, Leo, look out for a ton of recognition coming your way. Your reputation should be glowing and shining this month. And in fact, something that you wanted or some position of power you nearly got in the past could come your way. If you're looking to change careers, not, not even talking about jobs, we're talking about careers, or you want to really put all your effort into something that you love doing, now is the time with Jupiter joining forces with the North Node in your career zone. It couldn't be any better. Now, the only thing is there is a wide orbed fixed grand cross, which is basically saying we have to quest towards it. We have to have the courage to go for it. Yeah. So if something's been holding you back or there's been some fears around that, now is the time to deal with it because there's a great big stonking reward for any effort you put in to release your fears. Now, Mercury has exits retro shadow on the same day. So our thinking is clear. If you want to negotiate, or in fact, there could be, because Mercury is also joining forces with Uranus on the 4th, it could be that there's a surprise coming your way, a shock, a moment of something, an opportunity opening up. Grab it with both paws. The full moon in Sagittarius should be a jolly old day for you. That's on the 4th of June. You're feeling optimistic. You're, there should be lots of laughter around you. And if you've been going through a bit of a blue time, then this full moon is going to show you, give you a sign to what you need to do to bring the bounce back of happiness your way. Oh, now for the really good news. Venus, the planet of love and abundance, is going into your sign. Yeah, baby. This brings joy your way and lots of love. It might be romantic love. It might be friendship or you just feeling appreciated, which, of course, as a Leo, <laughs> you need, and uh, it's important for you. Now, Venus is going retrograde at some point, but the good news is it means Venus is in your sign for around four months, so, oh, how lovely. You can bask in the fabulousness that is you as other people admire you and are drawn towards you, and it gives everything a little zap of fabulousness, so that is such good news. Uh, you might have to work out a power struggle in a relationship because Venus does oppose Pluto on the 5th of June. But you know what? You're stronger in yourself. If someone doesn't appreciate you, you are likely to tell them to piss right off because you're like, I'm not having it. I demand and command respect. Good for you. Uh, Mercury also enters Gemini. So you are find yourself out and about mixing with people at events and also maybe collaborating, maybe putting stuff out there into the world that connects with other people. And it's really, really good. It's a, the perfect time for you to get out and about, to join forces, collaborate or put your stuff out there into the world. The world is ready and the world is listening. And if you've, again, been holding back in some way, the new moon in Gemini allows you to release any fears about collaborations or being around people or sharing your truth with the world and you're able to step through to a brand new cycle now the sun enters cancer on the 21st of june also mercury is going into cancer on the 27th of june and it's the last obviously the the end of the cycle for you before we enter uh next month your sign so what do you need to do you need to tie up loose ends most importantly you need to trust your intuition because when we're at the end of a cycle, we are super psychic 
And the month before our birthday is a very powerful month to make sure we deal with anything that needs dealing with so that when we leap into being energised with the sun in our sign and your illustrious ruler, we are able to kind of do it without having to deal with past stuff that isn't finished. But use your intuition. What do you know that you're ignoring? What does your gut feeling tell you about something? Use it. There's a very magical and deeply emotional conversation coming up where you feel that you're really almost like you're diving into someone's soul or they're diving into your soul at the end of the month. It's a powerful time, but it's oh, such gifts for us this month, thank God. Anyway, take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. So why do we at Michelle Knight give you a five minute, no questions asked guarantee? Well, our psychics are some of the very best in the world. They are handpicked. They have five rigorous test readings, the final one with me, and I require very detailed information, things they couldn't possibly know just by looking at Google or social media. We want you to be totally blown away by your reading to feel that you've chosen a psychic who you can bond with, who gets you and gives you such specific information, you feel completely reassured. If this doesn't happen within the first five minutes, don't be shy, just put down the phone and your minutes will be topped up or refunded. Your reading should be uplifting, full of clarity and advice, and leave you empowered to make the right decisions for you. We want Michelle Knight to be your spiritual home. 